Dan and Vinny. Hello. Hi, Alex. Welcome to beautiful Greece. Uh, that looks pretty nice. Glad, yeah. Glad to be here in beautiful Greece. Is pre uh, or post uh, Kratos fucking it up? Uh, you know, I'm not sure that canonically these two things are related. Oh. Uh, that was God of War. This is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Odyssey. It is uh, a not sequel to Origins uh -huh. that nonetheless plays a whole lot like Assassin's Creed Origins. It's a prequel to Origins. Yes. Uh, in a way, yes. Uh, it takes place a couple hundred years, I believe, before the uh, the events of Assassin's Creed Origins. Who are you I, playing as? I am playing is Cassandra, who is one of the two main uh, possible protagonists you can play as. The other one is Alexios. Uh, they are related by blood, uh, and there is some story stuff involving all of that. I will say right at the top, this is a later game thing than what we showed in the play date we did last week. Yeah, uh, the, I, I've been playing this game for about 17 and a half hours, according to the clock. Uh, and this is a little bit later game, but uh, I will try to avoid any major story, uh, story spoilers where I can. But I cannot guarantee I will avoid them all. If you're yeah, if you're looking for non-spoiler stuff, you can go check out. I believe it is called Live with Assassin's Creed Odyssey on Oof. Yeah, that's on, the, uh, on the side, and that's the end of uh, yeah. Cassandra. No, she's no great. diving text on there. Yeah. Uh, so we'll just pull up the map here real quick, kind of show you where we are. Uh, this is Salty Bear. Yeah. So I, you start out over here on Kefalonia, uh -huh. which is uh, backwater berg. It's where you grew up. There's a great statue there. You should yeah. check out live. Yeah, with it's uh, very. It's got a got a great dingus. Uh, and I've also been to these other places that are sort of highlighted green. So one of the differences in this game compared to Origins uh, is that you have an option between uh, exploration mode or handholdy mode, which is. Everything is uh, unveiled on the map in handholdy mode, like all the question marks. You still have to go there to see what mm -hmm. it is, but you can see where all the icons are. Here, you have to go to places and you have to kind of initially explore them before uh, you learn where anything is. Even the question marks. Yes. Okay. So in this area here, Red Lake Bay, I haven't really explored too much around here. There's a few question marks. There's a side quest. There's some other stuff going on. So I think I'm going to check that stuff out. And then we're going to close this out. I have a story quest that is about to take me to Athens. I believe okay. that is the biggest city in the game. I have not been there yet. I figured we'd just check that out. A Alex. Yes. Hand holding mode. Yes. What do you get for climbing a tower? Uh, I don't really know. I haven't played that mode. Respect. Yeah. So we'll it's just. Cold. Uh, is this salt? I believe this is salt. Oh. This is probably salt mining areas. Could you eat that? Is that safe? Uh, I mean, I don't know that you would want to. It's, not, it's not good for you. Why? Just eat salt. salt. What? A deer do it. She, she says salt. <laughs> salt. Uh, so we're just going to go over here. Let's, uh, there's a whole bunch of different quest types in this game. There's the usual like story side quests that uh, Origins definitely had. Mm -hmm. There's these other ones that sort of crop up from time to time. I think they're sort of timing based, which is to say that uh, you have an X amount of time once you accept the quest to finish it. Uh, these are usually smaller things. Okay. Carry, friend. It's just kind of like, hey, here's a mercenary job for you. Cassandra and or and or Alexios are both mercenaries in this story. They're just people that sell swords, you know, just making their money where they can. And this takes place during the Peloponnesian War, which is the war between Athens and Sparta. And you are a Spartan? Yes. So and you said all of this happened before Egypt? In before life? Egypt in, in Origins, yes. yes. Okay. Exactly. But in real life, too? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, you. so this guy wants me to go kill work. some some commander, so I'm gonna go do that real quick. Dialogue options. Leave it to me. Dialogue options are new. Uh, it is a, a light dusting of uh, I'd say probably Witcher slash Bioware style dialogue choices. Uh, consequences for your choices? Eh, there's some consequences. <laughs> I don't know if I have to do that quest right now. I'm gonna see what else is around here. Like uh, story impacting consequences so far for you? Uh, nothing super story impacting. Like, what I have found generally is that, uh, okay, so this is a place I could go stalk some people and kill them if you would like. Sure. Uh, so these are the things I have to do there. Kill the captain, burn the war supplies, find the Enigmata Ostraka. Oh, okay. Uh, which are like those treasure maps in Origins. Uh, yeah. And loot some treasure. All right, now let's, uh, let's get my eagle going. My drone. <laughs> you just have it. Yep. And, you just uh, had it from the beginning of the game? Oh, there's a whole bunch of dudes here. All right, so that's the leader of this region. There's a new thing here. You know how in Origins, like, you were kind of fighting bandits, but you were also fighting the Romans, and you yep. were also fighting the Greeks? Mm -hmm. So this is that. Uh, there are Roman and... Or not Roman. Uh, uh, Spartan and Athenian factions. And you can kind of pit them against each other for each region. Like, each one controls a different section of the map. And uh, as you kind of go through these areas, you can kind of weaken their their st their army okay. as you go along. So, uh, like and a Shadow of War type thing? Kind of. And then when, when, once you're done... Oh, yeah. They didn't somehow these guys did not escape the view of my eagle. Uh, 
once you once you've done that, you can engage in these big battles, which we might get to see if I uh, if I clear some of these people out. So let's do that right now. Yeah, all right. There's people around, people around. So are the Far Cry type elements uh, from Origins, or are they still to be found here? Oh, you stole something. How do you mean uh, Far Cry type elements? It's kind of the, the the feeling of like, hey, okay. I'm going to Everyone saw me. That's fine. <laughs> Fuck it. We're going loud. Like, I'm going to these outposts and I'm killing these guys. I'm stealthing around until I'm going loud. And Yes, exactly. Okay. Because I mean, like, Origins was the first one that to me felt like that. Yes. But I know if we're still moving in that direction. We are definitely still moving in that direction. Okay. All right, there's a lot of guys here. I'm yeah. going to maybe not try and take them all on. I'm going to I'm going to just kind of maybe I can run away. Let's see if we can run away. They don't, they might not follow me all the way. Uh you've got a lot of L1 L2 things mapped over yes. there. What are, what these are, are also new. Uh so these are, you know how weapons in Origins kind of each had their own little special ability you could kind of work with and that was like Yeah, like one each though. Yeah, one each. So here these are part of the skill tree. All right, yeah, they're not following me right now. Oh, we got a side quest over here too, so maybe I'll go back there in a second. Uh, yeah, so those are those are part of the skill tree, okay? Uh, which are your abilities, and these are mappable attacks, uh, and you can kind of decide which ones you want and which ones you want to upgrade. There are ones for your ranged attacks, and there are ones for your melee. So right now I have the Spartan Kick, which is just the fucking 300 Spartan Kick. Of course. Uh, there's a bull th move, which is essentially just like I can do a dash attack through a bunch of guys. Okay. You turn into a bull. Uh, no, but it is a bull rush. Uh, I can poison my blades. Uh, and oh, and I can, that's that's a uh, pop ability? Yes. That's, okay. And I can also uh, heal myself 25% uh, health right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then there are also these different ranged abilities and whatnot. I'm going to go out on a limb and venture to say there is no kind of narrative explanation for any of that stuff, right? Uh, none that I've encountered yet doesn't mean it's not going to eventually crop up, but it hasn't happened yet. Okay. Uh, gear has also changed a little bit. Uh, it's still the same sort of like rarity system as Origins and mm -hmm. the same sort of weapons availability, but uh, they have broken out the gear, like the armor, into more pieces. So they're, you're picking up all sorts of different stuff and just oh, kind of okay. mixing and matching. Okay, uh, I don't see any wrist blades or bag, yeah. bags of poison darts. There has there. been none of that yet. Okay. What's in the left? Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, go ahead. There, what's next to your bag there on the bottom? Uh, so if I want to... Oh, this is like your inventory. Like just your, your, oh, your you general, collected stuff. Oh, see. And what's in, ooh, look at that horrible mask. What's, yeah. uh, what's next to that in the... Uh, that thing? These are engravings. So graving is a new thing for weapons. You go to a blacksmith... There are different perks you can add to any piece of gear that you have, and these are the available ones that I have unlocked. Gotcha. Okay, so gem slash rune system yes. slash choose your choose your poison. While okay. we're here in this menu, I'm just uh -huh. gonna real quick just gonna uh, gloss over some of this other stuff because I don't know if we're gonna get a chance to show it all. Naval combat is back in a big way oh. in oh. this game. You oh. get a ship. Oh. You sing. Uh, there is singing. Okay. You upgrade the ship. These are all things you can upgrade here. You oh, can wow. also earn new special attendants who are characters you meet in the world. Okay. And you do quests for them, and eventually they're like, hey, you should you should join my thing. And then they join your thing, if you want them to. Mercenaries. This is uh, sort of like the Philocates in uh, Assassin's Creed Origins, uh -huh. only they have built it out a little bit more. There's this whole tier system. These guys will hunt you when you do ill shit. Usually that involves stealing, that involves killing soldiers, that kind of thing. That will get a bounty on your head. Can you hunt These, them? You can hunt them if you want. He's uh, the master of sharks. This uh, We talked a little bit about, about this in the um, live with Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but yes. this is a, definitely reminiscent of the um, Shadow Nemesis War? system. A little bit yeah. of Nemesis, yeah. And I'm told that uh, if you get your high, possibly if you get your level high enough, they will start like ambushing you and showing up in weird places. Okay. That has not happened to me because you can also pay off your bounty anytime you want. <laughs> Uh, and it has not been overly expensive. Do you have a bounty on you now? Uh, I don't think I do at the moment. Is that me... a quick save? <laughs> yes, they added quick save. Like uh, quick save, quick load, like a PC game? Yes. No shit. So the thing is, that doesn't work when you are in an area where it is red, which is to oh. say an area that is like heavily occupied by enemies. Gotcha. That, that, you, that does not really but work. But if you're about to make a stupid jump and you don't know if you're going to survive, you can quick save and then you die and then you can just load it up real quick? Uh, no, because... Okay. So not like a PC well, game. Well, so here's the difference. Uh, I think it's in the abilities menu. I just learned this today. We were recording the other thing. Uh, you have a basic ability that basically says uh, you won't die uh, if you if you take a long fall. It just will hurt you real bad. Any length? Any length. That's you know, not realistic. You know, listen, I fell off of a thing in, yeah. the, in the thing we shot before, and I should have died. <laughs> 
and I just lost all my health. Wow. Uh, the last thing I will show here in the menu, uh, yeah. which I'm not going to hover ever any of this, but this is the cultist. There is a whole cult uh, that is a big part of the plot, which I will not go into uh, great detail about, but these are all people that you are hunting throughout the world uh, that are members of this cult. My goodness. Yes. So, and, that, and I will not show their menus, which gives you more identity information, but you are uncovering their identities by picking up clues throughout the world. This seems kind of jam-packed with, it with is systems. It is action fucking <laughs> Act, my friend. Helmets off during cutscenes. Yes. You? Harassing him with his uh, parents. I, I told can't do you, it. mother. This is for your protection. Protection from what exactly? Voice acting generally pretty good. I th so I like Cassandra a good bit. I think she's. She's playing it a little bit campy without being over the top with it. I don't like the Alexios voice actor, and I feel like some of the other characters in the world are hamming it up to the nth degree. It's cool armor. So, dialogue choice. Eh, don't believe the Oracles and prophecies do more harm than good. You should listen to your She's had some bad experiences with oracles. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Listening to my gut. And it's telling me my parents will suffer if you don't help me. Here we go. You could save my parents from my vicious wrath. You don't have a vicious bone in your body. Quiet, Pater. Me and the Missios are talking. Missios is mercenary. It's what you are, basically, your, your role. We must return them to my parents so they can defend themselves from my ferocious temper. Yeah, sure. All right, Supidio. I'll get these weapons for you. Su-su-pidio. Of uh -huh. course. <laughs> my parents will gladly pay you for your troubles. What? What? Seek out Costa, the village You're a bad son. I brought him the sword to be sharpened not too long ago. And the shield? This will be trickier. I'll explain when you return from the blacksmith. <laughs> All right, Wait. fine. So one thing this does maintain from Origins that I really liked in Origins is the way the world is sort of built out. Mm -hmm. you see, like, you see the guy in the background is just kind of shoveling the salt there and whatnot. Uh -huh. There's a lot of little areas where there's just, like, little pockets of people, like, kind of living their lives in various ways. And I feel like the way, the way they stage dress that stuff is really good. I have not liked the cutscene direction or, like, the story maybe necessarily as much, but the world has been pretty fun to explore. All right, let's go talk to this blacksmith. So is there much explanation in the way of, well, I guess Bayek didn't really have it, for your kind of preternatural abilities? There's some illusions as to why that may be, but at the stage I'm at in the game, they have not given any hard explanations for anything. Okay. Uh, my name is Costa, at your service. Cassandra. Whatever you need, name it, it's yours. I could bend some metal for you, oil, those rippling muscles. Uh, so you're horny, got it. <laughs> I'm looking for a sword. Belongs to Supideo. Ah, Supideo. Love that boy. The fact that no one has has called him Stupidio yet is pretty good. Yes. Well, he needs his sword back. And I'd love to give it to you. His sword. Oh, shut the fuck up. But I can't just hand over swords to every gorgeous warrior who walks by. Uh, just give him the sword. Give me this. Oh, are you playing it? Uh, I could play it romantic oh, I if I want to. Give him the sword. Just give me the sword. Give me the sword <laughs> or I'll make this a day you'll never forget. Uh, I will say romance options are a thing. It is up to this stage of the game. Not like longer term relationships as far as I can tell. It is more just like, hey, do you want to eventually hook up with this person? Just keep following those dialogue paths. Uh, you can you can romance men and women. It's just kind of up to you. Some free love? Yeah, free love everywhere, man. <laughs> They really help to um, reforge, uh, if you know what I mean. Yeah, this is not innuendo. That you're just flowers, you're saying the quiet you part loud, man. I mean, sword. I mean, don't go anywhere. You're not that handsome, dude. <laughs> Stop looking so pleased with yourself. <laughs> does look pretty pleased. All right, let's see. Well, where do I need to go? When I come to an Assassin's Creed look, quick look, what I want to see is somebody pick some flowers. Yeah. So, what was this? <laughs> Oh, like, oh, you can pay all your bounties for 16 drop. Yeah, I mean, I, my, my meter is not very high up right now. Is that limited by uh, real world time or is that uh, in game? That's right. that's real world time. Okay. So that means I have X amount of time to go and take, you know, what? I'm just going to go over there. I don't really care about picking the flowers. I'm just going to go go see what else is around here. Sure. You have a horse? Uh, I do. 
Oh, that's my bird. That's, that's a me. bird. That's an eagle. Uh, Alex. Failed animal class. There you go. Oh, All there's right. my horse. horse. Put on its skin. Yep. <laughs> Similar stuff with following the road and yep and pathfinding. Yep. Okay, so that's the fort right there. Let's uh yeah, let's just follow this around. Uh, I'm gonna ask a question. By all means, fire them at me. That I would, I think I already know the answer to. No wrist blades so far, right? No wrist blades so far. I don't know if that's gonna become a factor at some point or not. But uh, as of this stage of the game, you are using the spear of Leonidas. That is mm. your primary weapon. And it's also the primary, uh, I believe, uh, artifact in the game that sort of ties to the uh, the, the, the present day stuff. Gotcha. All right, let's see what's. Oh, hello. Let's see oh, what very got. similar. Uh, there's a lot of guys in that fort. Launcher your drone. Yeah, yeah. All right, where's the stuff I actually want? Let's zoom in a little. Oh, look at that red lake. There's oh. a red ass lake. How does that happen? Uh, LG. minerals. Oh, algae Minery, it could be it could be algae, it could be minerals. Could you drink a glass from that lake? You probably wouldn't want to, like unfiltered. Okay. Might become a superhero. Ooh. Yeah. Is that how you fall for so far without dying? Uh-huh. Yeah, drink from the red lake. Oh, okay. I mean don't do that because you know you're normal. Everybody who wants to test it out first, they drink from it and then they jump in. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, well, how, here, that's, how, that's how the lake gets red. Oh cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I saw a chest down there in that lake, so, you know, I'm just gonna, gonna go take a little, take a little we'll dive. Take a little dip in well, now you're invincible, so... And then I'll go find those flowers by the fort. What else you got? Oh, okay, more flowers. <laughs> yeah, so it's just giving me icons for where all that stuff is. Looks like there's some animals up there, too. Hunting? Yes, there is hunting, there is, uh, animal skins and all that fun stuff. Wonder what's made it so well, there you go, Minerals, Dan. you idiot. <laughs> okay, this lake appears to no be study. not very deep, and in fact, I think that uh, that chest might be underground somewhere, so we'll deal with that later. You ain't seen shit. All right, you saw shit. I think Sorry. Uh, okay. All right, well, let's take this dude out. He's got a big shield. Use some of your cool, uh, cool jazz. I just did. I put poison oh, on my blades. On blade. Hey, let's uh, Spartan kick this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you get weapons that have... Poison on them, like uh, no. That's it's it's just ability based. Okay. No, um, no sleepy weapons and. I mean, they all have different perks uh, that sort of come with them, and again, you can add stuff with the engraving system. Uh, but yeah, no, it's it's just like weapons have different abilities, and that's kind of it. Okay. Oh, there's a bear. There are a couple of bears. It appears up there. Sometimes you eat the bear, the bear eats you. Eat the bear. Well, I'm gonna eat these bears. Do you use your bow a lot? Here and there. Like, I, yeah, no, run away. There's bears there, man. All right, that's one of the fun. All right, yeah, I know this bear wants peace. You want peace? Hey, check this out. That's Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I kicked that I bear. That, that's a bad idea. I thought it was a great idea. That kind of recharges pretty quickly. Kick it again. Well, that's uh, so you see that, that bottom meter, the one with the, the yeah. yellow? So that's your adrenaline, which is what Overall. decides whether you can use those abilities or not. Do you have to kill Zeus in this? Uh, I haven't had to yet. Oh. Was he assassinated? You Zeus? know, I, I'm not yeah. really up on the uh, the the day to day lore of the, okay. the ancient Greek pantheon, but uh, I'm sure he was betrayed by somebody. Good. Probably so. Ares. Okay, that guy's an asshole. Possible dumb question: Was Caesar in this time period? Uh, Caesar's Roman. Okay. All right. So no, he's C not Caesar in this is game. in uh, actually in Assassin's Creed Origins. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh. You kill him? I mean, a Caesar. There are many Caesars, but Julius oh, Caesar. You'll have to play to find out. Yeah. Oh, that's another flower. All right. Well, are those are those more. moose just kind of hanging out? Uh, that was a, I believe elk. that was an elk. Uh, and yeah, they're just like huntable animals. That should be enough. All right, so I could, uh, I, I could probably take this military fort on at some point. But first, I'm just gonna finish off this quest. Give this guy his flowers. I assume there's fast travel to certain areas. Like Anywhere the, that you, uh, you know, any sync point, mm -hmm. the the big perches, what have you. And uh, the city city names, you could, you could warp the cities and origins, right? Uh, I think you or could was only it only the towers. I think it was only the towers, but every city had a tower. All right, let's head back over here. Is that person on a spear? Those are just bodies. Ah, eh, fuck off. <laughs> okay. So you're taking the fort. Uh, well, I mean, there's like stuff over here, so there's an objective. That person sees it. Yeah, I was not very sneaky there. 
It's the same, like hiding the grass. Uh... Yeah, same. same. Uh oh, yeah, that's not the that's not the door. <laughs> hey, check this out. Got a shield. Nope. Do you have remote control arrows? I do. That was the remote control ability if I want to use it. Nope. I've, I've just been letting go of it instead of, like, holding it. Well, that person... Did you just activate Rage yeah. of the Gods? Yeah, that person... Uh, you might be fighting Kratos. I don't know. <laughs> A young Kratos. Uh, I very it was. young. They're stronger than... But they, all, have, they all like kicking. I had that heal ability, so I just used that. Okay. Well, you just killed Kratos. So, thank you. Nope. Oh. <laughs> I that now. guy. You. You die now. So there is a parry system. Yes, I never use it. There you there, go. There, I did it. I did it for you. Thank you. <laughs> as you asked. So dumb. That kick really didn't seem to stun him as much as you think it would. Depends on the guy. Like, yeah. more powerful guys, I think it doesn't do quite as much. But I did kick that bear pretty far. You did kick that bear pretty sometimes far. Sometimes you kick the bear, sometimes the bear kicks you. You gonna go get, them go get some treasures? I mean, I could, just, I could go through this fort right now if we want. Is that where you have to go? I'm not sure it's where I have to go. Let me see what my... Oh, no, I need to go talk to this, uh, this guy. I'm gonna go talk to this guy. He's down here. You have, gear, you have gear that is better than what you have equipped at the moment. Oh, there's a bounty hunter nearby. Okay. That's so, a, as you can see, there's a little helmet tick there that's yeah. like, hey, your meter's gone up a little bit. They're uh, they're aware of you. So somewhere there's a Wait, bounty did you hunter. Wait, just land on a dog? I might have. All right. I think you just scared him. <laughs> He's fine. Here. Take these flowers, you horny bastard. Give me some more sexual innuendo. That's more like ouchuendo. They're still uh, talking in the background. Gorgeous, Mistios. You take my Buff Bob Ross. Can you bring the flowers? I can't even go flower picking without some beast trying to kill me. But yes, I have them. Perfect. This will make tonight a night to remember. I'm very happy for you. Now, what you promised? Of course, of course. Um, I was uh, just wondering, uh, since we're here, uh, what if I took the flowers now? Uh, there's a clear yeah. spot in my shop where we could... Uh, you know, so here's the thing. Yeah. I've said yes to every single person that has wanted to hook up with me up to this point. Do it! And keep, keep it going. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Eat your plants. I don't even like this guy, but fuck wow. it. Are these like boner plants or something? Yeah, like, I think it? it's like Viagra, Viagra plants. Oh, okay. What was that supposed to be a metaphor for? Is that symbolism? Do you, yes. get, a, do you get a discount at the store or anything? Or just, uh, just for a good time? No quick time event? all the goods. <laughs> I'll never forget you. No. I'm gonna forget you in about you five won't. minutes. <laughs> I should get this back to Stupidio's parents before he does anything. Yeah. What? Stupidio. Ah! Uh, what? Stupidio! They said it's Stupidio. They, they said did it. say Stupidio? They said All the right. thing. Well, there we go. Finally, this game is good. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Just took a little bone in to get there. Yep. Mistios, you've returned. Did you bring the sword? I did. Thank the gods. I knew I could count on you. But this is only one of the items I needed, and I have two parents. Yeah, so where's the other one? This shield? Well, oh boy. According to my parents, it was stolen while I was visiting this the just like of Legend Delphi. of Zelda. Stolen? It's as good as gone then. I overheard Mother and Potter whispering about it. They mentioned the cave beyond the Red Lake. So you didn't play much of uh, the, the other character, right? Her. No, no. I I, I saw what we saw in the I played a little bit of E3 and I saw I played what we played during the play date. My parents be truly safe from my fury. I wonder how the romance options all play out with the other character. All right. So there's a cave somewhere beyond the red. I bet it's that right there. Sure. That feels likely. So let's head over there. So yeah, you see the 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 quest thing in the top left there? So one of the things they do is they don't just tell you exactly where everything is. You kind of have to find it. And sometimes that's through dialogue choices. You get uh, questions where you can kind of be like, well, can you nail this down for me? Can you kind of, you know, give me some hints about where I should be looking? And it'll kind of tighten so, it up. So, yeah, it'll kind of tighten up the information, kind of tell you where the vicinity of where stuff mm -hmm. might be. And then uh, you, can, you can turn that off if you want to just get all the question marks in explore or. Yeah, it'll just say if, if you play it in the, the, the guided mode, it will just kind of tell you where everything is. All right. No, I'm not going through this fort. I'm going around the fort. I'm going to the lake. It's a big fort. It is a big fort. It's a lot that I could take out of there if I wanted to. Uh, again, so these forts and and whatnot, like, 
what you're kind of doing there is uh, you're you're taking down the power of whichever army happens to be there. Once you get their power down to a sufficient level, yeah. there are these big battles that take place. And they're sort of like the gang battles in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I don't know if you remember those or not. Uh, I didn't play that much of Syndicate. But it's sort of done in much more of like a, you know, uh, spears and swords kind of battle. So it's just two sides. You're, you're fighting the, uh, the trying to get rid take the generals out. And then once you do that, the other side takes over that territory and their soldiers occupy all the bases and all that stuff. Do Can you play both sides? Uh, you can play whichever side you want is the just thing. Like, so far, at least as far as the game has been up to this point, like this who is in control of what has had very little to do with anything. Okay. Winning those battles gets you gear. That is the main reason why you so would do it. So can you just keep doing it over and over again? I think you could. Mm. Once you've kind of taken a bunch of the, like, the, once you've completed a place, once you've killed all the captains in a base or any of that stuff, those don't come back. But you can still kill soldiers and whatnot in those bases. It's just not like the full complement of stuff that you had there before. Hmm. There she is. All right. So yeah, that's exactly where I thought it was. Iodine in that lake. It's a cool lake. It is kind of crazy. It's very red. All right. Let's see. All right. Now I'm going to do this for real. Okay. Let's see if we can line up this shot. Yes, we can. <laughs> nice. That guy is extremely dead. Uh huh. Now you're playing Let's with power. Let's just make sure there's no one else milling around here. Doesn't look like it. You have some chests in there. That's cool. All right. Well, let's see. There's a leader over here. Let's sneak around and kill this his ass. Cave. Perfect hiding spot for the thief. Oh, he's like tormenting someone. Well, let's finish this. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> he didn't die all the way. Oh. I did. I did a lot of damage, but he didn't die. Sometimes characters are a little slow to react to assassinations. I found in this game uh, more so than in Origins, <laughs> which is you know not great. But that's one of the things I just hated about Origins. One of the first things I upgraded was no, you kill them when you assassinate. Yeah. Them. If I ever got stabbed, I would immediately react. What I would we, die. I would die instantly. What if oh. the uh, what if the, like, the blade was so sharp you didn't even feel it? it was like one I of mean, those... I would still react really quick because I'd lose blood and probably pass out. Well, like with one of those like animes where like you're sliced in half, you don't even know it. Oh, like, <laughs> now Dan, that's something Dan <laughs> knows about. The screen anime. splits. And oh all god, yeah. there's a cat after me too. There's like a bobcat. What the fuck? Jeez, <laughs> kind of a cool fuck looking that. cat. Here, let's just start arrowing, guys. So do you have the different bows, like the uh, fast bow? No, it's just been the, I mean, you get different level bows, but it has not been different types of bows that I found. Oh, like the warrior bow and... I mean, they give you different stats. Like, some are better for warrior damage, some are better for hunter damage, that kind of thing. But that's that cat is cool. fucking you. I like the animation on the cat. Yeah. That's got a health bar. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh, boy. Look! You want me to live through this or not? Uh, now if you're gonna kick, kick that cat. I mean, look, I would prefer just to pet the cat, but the <laughs> cat attacked monster. me first. It's trying to hug you. <laughs> it loves you, Alex. Going to the front, like, this is weird. Alex, you own cats. Everything here is. Kick the cat again. Do I need to call protective services? Kick it into the lake. Oh, <laughs> God! <laughs> it's a cat in the lake, I have to see. No, the cat's done. <laughs> I think the cat's there. Oh, yeah, that cat's there. The Kitty's taking a little nap. No, I wish you had gone into photo mode when you were doing that. Your kick. <laughs> and let's take these chests. Oh, there's all hey, kinds of shit. Oh, that cat Not was real wheel loaded. <laughs> so much stuff. So much stuff. All mine. All mine now. You're Yeah, you're rich. Why don't you take all of that? You need money for stuff, right? I hate when games do that. <laughs> Like, uh, they don't just let you take all the instantly. treasure pile and then you take like five gold from it, right? And it's like, I'm using gold. No, it's not cursed. <laughs> now, what's up here? Oh. oh, there's some crafting items. I'll take that. So, I didn't see when you're in your, your inventory. What are you crafting and using skins for? Because it's not like you have a pouch or. So, a lot of it is tied to the ship. Uh, you oh. need stuff to upgrade your ship. Oh. Uh, that is what a lot of that is tying into. You also need to craft arrows. Um, oh, can you craft them outside of this menu? Uh, you do it from here. Okay. But yeah. you don't craft armor upgrades or anything, right? Uh, I have not found any. Oh, I got a slightly better bracers. Sorry, I'm just checking my inventory. Oh, the game so was telling you. Wow, the... the uh, the yeah. layout makes it look like you have more All stuff. Right. I know that's not as epic, but it's a better sword. Alright, yeah, we'll go with that. 
Oh, what are these guys doing? Smoking dope. Well, they're about to get smoked by me. That guy died. That's how yeah. you die when you get stabbed. He he knew. Yeah. He's trained. He's classically trained. Watch the video. Come on. Uh oh. Yeah. Did you get him? Yeah, I caught him. Mm-hmm. You gotta, you gotta get him near the cliff and do that. Does make it way funnier. I bet they don't magically stick to the wall with a fucking web. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, not a lot of webbing in this game, sorry. Good. Kick him off the goddamn cliff. Not the cat. <laughs> I'm using parries now because you made me self-conscious about How about it. using parries? I mean, it seems like it's a pretty good system. Just die. And they've got skulls over their head. Does that mean they're that poisoned? That means they're poisoned. Oh. What is uh what are your other like arrow abilities like? Uh one shoots like multiple arrows. Let's see. Let, let's let's see if I can get a little distance between me and them and I'll try yeah. it. Uh let's see. So this one oh, okay. hide behind that tent, they're smart. Yeah, that's multi-arrow. That hits multiple shots. This is just like a, a wide spread of shots. Uh the top one was the uh the the bullet time arrow. Oh, that's an ability? Yeah, that's an ability. Got it. Interesting. That's an interesting change. So no shields yet, you said, huh? No shields. I'm not sure that that is, uh, there's even a space for them, so you might just not get shields. That might just not be your thing. Hmm. Two-handed weapons, though, right? Yes, there are two- there's multiple different weapon types. There's, there's axes, there's staffs, there's all that fun stuff. Alright, those guys are all dead. I just wanted their chest. Hell yeah. Loot! Oh, you're stealing that. Give me the loot! Renegade points. Alright, let's go bring this shield back to that guy. And then maybe we'll, uh, we'll hop on our boat and we'll head to Athens after this. Okay. So I haven't been there yet. This is all stuff I haven't done. Like, this, the, the game... Right, this you is know, your save. Yeah, this is my save. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be a giant story beat there. I assume there will be, cause, but I haven't been to Athens. I assume it's the biggest city in the game, because it would make sense that it was. We'll go check it out. I've heard of it, so it's got to be big. Yeah. It's a pretty big city. It's in Georgia, right? I yes. believe so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so if you're watching... REM used to play there. <laughs> WCW had a bunch of shows, yeah. If you're watching... Over here? Uh, heads up. Yeah. When Zip. we get there, but we aren't there yet. No, you still got to turn in your shield. What's this guy's deal? Your badge and your shield. What's your deal? Anything you need help with today? <laughs> oh, I think this is because I killed that camp. So, if you do something out of order for a quest... Yeah. Uh... You haven't heard? You, you, That's already been taken care of. Oh, so I you see. did because I did that before I met that guy. Yeah. Uh, I can just be like, oh shit, I already did this for you, and then he'll just give you the reward. Gotcha. That's neat. Yeah. Yeah, you should just join my crew. Jeremy, Fuck it, why, why not? not? Yeah. I have a good crew, but I don't even know what your talents are, but you know, just come hang out. It's cool. I want you on board. Is it grown beards? Because you, you look like you're. <laughs> yeah, you seem all right at that. Is it? Is your talent sick chest there? Because that's pretty good. All right, oh. so he's joined my crew. He has disappeared to your and crew. And if you go to the ship menu, basically, so each of these uh, lieutenants, what the hell? Oh, I hit the wrong thing. You can buy some stuff. Yeah, there we go. So each of these lieutenants have their own like uh, perks. Very so insane. you know, in her case, she's a uh, four pyre, four percent fire buildup, uh -huh. eight percent weak point creation with javelins. This guy's thing is four percent. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna change any of these, but yeah, they all have their own abilities and they help out. And you can just recruit indefinitely. I mean, yeah, it seems like you can just keep adding people, but. Whichever ones are active is just up to you. Uh, all right, let's go turn in this stuff. Get this guy off his parents' back, because, God, he's a bad son. And then off to Athens? And then off to Athens. Where are you now? What's the name of this place? Uh, Apoas? Sure. Uh, just real quick here, I'm not actually going to do any of these, but I just want to show this. They've added these message board quests. Oh, right. These are small quests this. that you can do that have the time limit on them once you accept them. Uh, some of them give you the special currency, which is the, st like, you remember the weird, the kid with the yes, the, the yes. super shop? And the camel, right. There's an equivalent to that here, and you need that currency to buy that stuff. Right. Uh, any of these are just usually quick contracts, go kill, uh, clear a camp, go kill a guy, give me some money, etc. But this doesn't seem 
like a thing that you just go and clear the board out and then don't come back. This is like they're probably they probably respawn or repop. I think there is an a, a finite number of them, Are but there? it is very okay. high. It okay. is a high number of them. Because I feel like those kids qu that kid question from the kids just kept coming back. Yeah. Now you can protect yourselves from the prophecy. So, you found the thief? Oh yes, cut her in half. She won't steal anything from That was an added detail you probably didn't need to tell them. It was a cat. It was oh, a he's big very cat. Much alive. We did things in the back of his workshop. You don't have to tell them this. You didn't. This is awful. <laughs> Mater? Pater? What's wrong? You're safe. The prophecy's broken. Actually, there's something we've been meaning to tell you. Supidio, you were adopted. Oh, no. What? A young couple. Spoilers. To us. They knew we'd give you a better this is home. awkward for you to That's be hanging around for. The is your inheritance from them. Wait. So the thief... And the blacksmith uh -oh. are Supidio's birth parents. You killed his oh, mother <laughs> and fucked his partner. Right. The you said know, that's a good twist. I'm just got to and shit here. Oh, he screamed, but not in agony. <laughs> <laughs> what? I fucked your dad. What? <laughs> Wait. You killed mother and had sex with mother. <laughs> Supidio, I had no idea. I can't kill, kill him. Out of my head. I don't want to see anymore. Well, let's just kill him. Then. <laughs> Ew, oh. oh, is he event horizoning himself? Oh my <laughs> god. Dude, it's cool. Oh, they got, got a blindfold. Oh. Alright. Alright. Yeah, awesome. You seem fine now, I guess. Alright, so I leveled up. Yay. <laughs> Having From sex fucking that guy's dad. dad. Yeah, no, that was. Hey, hey, you, you can be the bisexual love god of your dreams in this game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, all right, yeah. Got some stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna change any of this out. I've tended to find that, like, the higher rarity gear, mm. it's sometimes worth the armor hit just to get the perks mm. to keep them around. Uh, like, I don't really use the... You the, have to break some of that stuff down at some point. Or sell it. Yeah, you mostly just sell stuff. Uh, all right, let's take a quick look here at the map, see what we want to do. Uh, all right, so I could tackle any of these things, but they're they're exactly like they are in Origins. Like, they're big bases. You just go and you, you kill the captains, you steal the treasure, you burn some shit. Uh, this icon over here, this is the person who is sponsoring the bounty on you. Oh. If you kill that person, the bounty goes away for the time being. Oh. Uh, yeah. Boat, 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 boat. boat. All right, so I need to go oh. over here. Are those pictures from other players? Yeah, those are like other players' uh, screenshots. Huh. Do they have the thing where, like, if another player dies, you can avenge them? Uh, I have not seen that. Mm. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna fast travel over to here, and we're just gonna walk to the to the, the, the mission boat? objective. How's the load? Uh, existent. <laughs> you notice them? They're not. They're not. They're the initial load in the game. I found to be pretty long. Yeah. The fast travel is not as bad. I don't. You think. don't even. Did they take away full control in Origins? Yeah, too? they just don't. They they, they were done. We're done with that. Well, no, you could run around in the... the in world, Origins. In Origins, yeah. This one, we're just done. We're just not doing that. <laughs> we just slowly killed it. They took away the wrist blades and then just load screen. Yep. Uh, we are, we should mention for any reason, we are playing on a pro. Yes. Here. If that, uh, and I'm going to say that the load times are not really any different than they are in a PS4 yeah. regular, which is what I'm playing at home. Uh, well, this pro doesn't have um, the fancy SSD in it. This okay. Is, this is just stock. Yeah. Stock shit. Mm hmm I don't think the Pro comes with an SSD, right? Pretty sure. Well, it comes with a hard drive. It definitely comes with a hard one, drive. One terabyte? I, I believe so. All right. So this is where I was. Let's just pull up that icon, and then let's just run on over there. What do you say? Well, yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's go to here. That's where I'm going. All right. 600 meters. You can take your horse. I could, but I'm running on this rooftop right now. You can take your horse on a roof. Uh, where is that? Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's off in this general direction. Well, I have to go over this mountain is the problem. So I'm just going to... Ow! I'm fine. Your knees. Your ankle. Uh, turn that ankle. Everything's fine. Yeah. She's really good at this. Ricochet? I mean, she is... Rick uh, and Ricochet would make a great assassin. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. And then we're just gonna climb right over this mountain. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. Just straight up the mountain. Straight up the damn mountain. Okay. And then down to the uh, to the old uh, ship area. Did you lose your thing? What thing? Where, the, the, I, oh no, there it is. Yeah. Okay. It's just it's very much below me. Okay. 
Yeah. Not in like a, you know, it's not beneath me, but it's, it's yeah, actually yes. literally beneath me. Man, climbing in sandals seems tough. Yeah. Walking not a lot of, not hard. a lot of support. Yeah, like your toes would kind of like, uh... It would feel like climbing barefoot would be easier. Oh, you'd stub your toes a lot. Just yeah, just scraping up against the yeah. Like t tough to find purchase, you know. Uh -huh, just like mm -hmm. you'll gain no purchase here. Ooh, that looks pretty nice in the background there. Yeah, Those mountains. Yeah, look at that. A lot of good yeah. vistas in this game. All right, we're Does your horse take fall, fall damage? Or yes, is your, they do. Your horse invincible. The horse is not invincible. <laughs> I mean, they will respawn, but they they are not invincible to fall damage. I love how you could just fall as far as you want. Yeah, it's kind of nice to know. Instead of just the like wondering, like I could probably survive. Is this survive. far enough? Yeah. Is this too far? Just climbing down this mountain, hopping down this mountain. I mean, I guess in the grand scheme, I mean, I think it's silly, but I guess in the grand scheme, grand scheme of things, in the grand scheme of, uh, you mean, like, like, like Assassin's Creed being ridiculous? I mean, yeah, a bird drone. No, I was, I was thinking more in the like, I mean, more in the like, what does it get you? You just got to reload from a checkpoint, yep. and like, yeah. You, you probably more often than not just kind of messed up. Didn't yep. mean to, to, to yes. fall that far. In the history of Assassin's Creed, I have fallen to my death numerous times because yes. not the controls got right? weird. Yeah. But now that I know I could do it, I will be jumping off the largest thing. Oh yeah, yes. yes. Jump, uh, jump, jump, I jump! I don't, yeah. I don't think we're going to end up in a situation <laughs> where we. Uh, That's so dumb. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to end up in a situation where we do one of those giant battles, but it's really not a big deal. They've made kind of a big deal of that stuff in the marketing, but like the battles are just kind of like it's just a bunch of guys on screen and you fight okay. like a lumberjack match. Yeah, it's not really anything that exciting, I would say. You can't walk this battle All right, so here we go. This oh, is a story God. objective. I'm going to say it right now. Uh, I don't know what's going to take place. I don't know what's going to be shown. Could be spoilerific. So if you want to avoid that, I'm going to go into this ability menu and spend a point this is your your offboarding moment to get the fuck out of here <laughs> if you don't train. want to risk it all right I'm, uh, well i'm sticking around. it could end up being nothing i have no idea but uh yeah let's tame some freaking wolves man oh man all right here we go here you go this is herodotus he's a historian and a dude you hang out with he's cool okay he's my guy how does he feel about cats he loves them. Look at that. That. Yeah. If you close your eyes you can hear them their final war cries before every last one of those so this is literally this is the hot gates of Thermopylae this is where the Spartan 300 battle shit happened where I'm standing right now was that a real thing I mean that is the Battle of Thermopylae is a real thing okay the uh Let's just say that the graphic novel interpretation of it is maybe a little exaggerated. Right, because there were like giant dudes and stuff. Yeah. Why are we? You here? didn't bring me there here to abs. talk about that yeah. Spartan. A lot of abs. What's yeah. on your mind, Herodotus? The Battle of Thermopylae still echoes in our hearts. But to stand here is to feel it in your bones. There's nothing here but ghosts. My concerns are with the living. Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something. All right, here we go. Check out my spear. It always does that. Uh, I should say the Battle of Thermopylae is the opening of the game. It is literally the first scene. You are playing as Leonidas, and you are fighting the the Persian army in that in that battle. Which is that Leonidas, the guy watching everybody die? Might be, yeah. He's not very is. good. He's just standing there. So this is the part uh, where the, the Persians find the goat path and, and flank them. So I think this is probably where he dies. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a wild guess. Oh, they're getting right through his armor. That's how he died in the movie, right? Yeah, he took a lot of arrows in the end. Hated it. Hated that movie? Yes. Is he laughing? Oh, he's not laughing. <laughs> is he gonna kick him? Sauron? No. Oh, 
Oh wow, it's a tough guy, huh? I don't that I don't think he makes it. Is he gonna do one of those pull the sword into himself? Oh, yoink. Got you too, uh, motherfucker. A lot of slow reactions in this game. It's dramatic. Ow. Nope, everything's cool. Well, that shouldn't have happened. He <laughs> stabs himself with it. I'm fine. I think your spear's laced with LSD. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. So did you know this before? Or you, this they've called it the spear of Leonidas before. One oh. of the central mysteries, I think, is like how you came into possession of it, why you have it. It has not been answered up to this point. I see. So uh, these white questions, those are the ones that kind of just give you additional information. If I yeah. want to move the story along... So let's just see what we get Where here. Where were Sparta's allies? The Spartans weren't alone in facing Xerxes and his hordes. Many from across the Greek world were armed and ready to fight alongside Leonidas and his 300. But when the mighty king looked into their eyes and saw fear, he sent them home. That sounds like madness, not bravery. This is Sparta. It was mm -hmm. foretold by the Pythia that Sparta would lose either its freedom or its kin to the Persians. Leonidas made his choice. I don't think I need to ask what happened to Leonidas. <laughs> what happened to the traitor, Ephialtes? King Xerxes paid him well, but treachery breeds treachery. A contract was put on his head, and he died as he lived. A coward. All right, well. You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I'd convinced myself was a dream. Until now. A peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious hmm. shapes. Hmm. Do you know what he's talking about? No, but I have a feeling I this is probably seen. how they are tying it into the Andros Assassin's Creed shapes. universe. Oh, okay. In like the, uh, the I heard whispers of an uh, animus stuff? Yes. A people who There's still like an alien pope? Before. Probably. Spear and and some magic apple? Are connected. The first civilization. You mentioned a people that came before. Who were they? they I don't know. They've taken 11 gods. games. They still haven't they completely explained that. <laughs> Think they're in computers or something? Intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yes. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong lip. <laughs> That's not a euphemism I've ever heard. <laughs> the spear awakened to you, Herodotus. I trust you. You understand. I will do is, he, is he somebody special? To help you I mean, he's a historian. I promise. Uh, Love he's spears. a guy. He's, he you seems pretty plugged into what's balance. going on in the world politically. I'll meet you at my ship. Why does the spear talk to him? I don't know. I think it kind of talks to anyone. Oh, never talked to you, though. Yeah. Well, I'm mostly using it to kill people. Yeah. You control the spear. All right, so he's going to get on our ship. Yeah? Do you sail the ship, or is this just a... I do sail the ship. I control it. You're going to sail all the way to Athens? Well, they said Athens, but now they're talking about this other place, which I thought was like... True. Uh, Andros, uh, I guess is what they said. Andros. Andros? Yeah. Andros. Yeah. Check out my boat. Is that your boat? This is my boat. Undock that ship. Welcome oh, yeah. Aboard. Is this your first mate? You traveling with us? Yes. Barnabas is my uh, is my dude. A lot of cool names back then. Herodotus is helping me find my mother. Sing. Seeking help from the gods has put Herodotus on your path, just like they put you on mine. They work in ways beyond our comprehension, and all we can do is follow their lead. You could be right. Herodotus and I share enemies too. Like in Pinor? He is. was. part of a very powerful group. Is that the cult stuff? Of yes, that is the cult stuff. It controls the Greek world through the Oracle. Control the Oracle? Impossible! Apollo would not allow that! Now they're looking for my mother. I need to find oh, her. They're singing. They do. And I believe yep. The dolphins singing? No, the crew. But the dolphins are cool. I yeah. The Oracle lost to corruption, and now this cult? Yeah, it sucks, man. What about that boat? 
I can fight these boats if They're I want to. really just bunched up there. They're fighting They're each fighting other? They're fighting each other. Okay, you're just kind of cruising by. Yeah, so I can decide if I want to participate in this. Oh, or I think you're going to participate whether you like it or not. <laughs> it's a rough seas, huh? Yeah. It's <laughs> just unfazed. Yeah, so I took that ship down. Is he always this positive? Here, let's ram this guy. That's why I like Ram their asses. Wait, you can board? Yes. Wait, that's uh, new. No, you can do that in uh, in Black Flag and in Rogue. Like, you can board the ships. You can? Oh, yeah. oh, in Black Flag. I don't... Okay, Black Flag. Not in uh, Origins. Yeah. Not in Origins. Because Origins barely had any combat... Uh, had any uh, oh, right. ship combat. Mostly the... This uh, is much more like the Black Flag combat system. Right. And we must do the same. Just take out who I can from a distance. Not Layla. Who is the who is the other character in Origins that does the boat stuff? Oh, uh, Aya. Aya. I am way higher level than these guys, so I win. You get to steal their boat or you just scuttle it? I just take their stuff. What are we waiting for? Ship help or something. Let's hunt some pirates. Hug some pirates? Hunt some Hunt some pirates. All right, let's uh, let's see what the mission objectives here are. Which quests are we tracking? All right, so this is where we're going. Got it. Let's see where this takes us. There's much to do. Yes, give me the give me the command of the ship. Where's your steering wheel? Uh, they're they're rowing. <laughs> they're just rowing. Is there, no, is there no rudder? All right, I don't actually know where I'm going. It's on the island of Andros. I thought we were going to Athens, but I guess maybe not. Let's just, let's look at the map. Okay. Let's see where we want to go. All right, where the hell is Andros? It's one of these. Uh, there it is. It's down here. Oh, you got to sail all the way there? Apparently. Dang, man. Where's Athens? It's giant squid right there. May not even, may not even discovered that yet. All right, well, let's, I mean, we can go check this out if we want. Sure. Let's at least sail there. Take, uh, a, take a boat trip. Yeah. I'm sure something fun will happen on the way. Structures there. located on the island of Andros. It is the western part of the abandoned forest. A huge door protects the entrance. That ship's down. Have you seen much animus stuff? Uh, no. I mean, there's little... I've seen little bits in a couple of tombs here and there. It's just sort of like little things you touch that kind of is like, oh, there's some like weird computery effects around it. But that's kind of been it. What, were you in like fast? Okay, yeah. That's so like, this is the travel that's like speed. Cruising, yeah, cruising, cruising speed. Cruising speed. As you can see, there's more fighting uh, happening. Is there. there just fighting all the time? There's a lot of fighting that just generally happens. All right, these guys are pissed. I mean, boats are expensive. Let's just keep moving. I don't really care about <laughs> fighting these guys. It's like a bunch of kids or something. Let the Spartans handle these dudes. Man, those guys are rowing. And we keep moving. It looks like you have a rudder. Yeah, someone's controlling it. Hmm. I'm sure they didn't didn't leave it out. I'm sure there's yeah, like a, that would be weird. That would be a weird <laughs> thing to leave out. Is there a super fast mode? This is. <laughs> I mean, if I haven't been to a place, I could fast travel to a place once I've been there. Right. But if I haven't been there, there isn't. But hey, you can kind of see it's see how much beautiful. land or how much land and sea we're working with here. You're glowing. It's a big world. Seems it. I mean, uh, Origins World was real big too. Did they pop you out of? Uh, yeah, whenever a guy is like about to attack you. Gotcha. But we're just gonna power through this. We're not gonna bother stopping. What's this place? I'm just gonna kind of tool past here. Is this Athens? <laughs> that's the Parthenon. I don't know if that's the Parthenon. Sure looks like it. You know they got one of those in Memphis? No, Nashville. There's a Parthenon in Nashville. Yes, actually, you know what? I did know that. It's weird. It is weird. I was just going around Nashville no, one day Athens. and I saw a goddamn Parthenon. Yeah, I forget why that's there. I don't know why, but it's the last thing you'd expect to see in that city. I feel like I used to know why that was there, but I don't remember why. <laughs> Someone just decided there needed to be a Parthenon in, in Tennessee. In Tennessee. Why not? Okay. They just built one? Yeah. 
It's just like a recreation of the Parthenon. Anything ever happened in the water that's, um, like, I don't know, the giant squid attacks or anything? There's sharks. You can fight sharks if you want. Okay. Uh, there are, you know, plenty of, like, sunken ships that, uh, that you can, you can go and you can find treasure down there. Uh... It's it's similar to the underwater stuff in Origins. Like it's more exploration than it is, and you know, like there's there's I haven't seen a kraken or anything. No. That's what you're asking. All right, that kind of was. This is also like only the like the third time I've really sailed anywhere. I spent a lot of time in the last area, just kind of wandering around. Man, I suspect if I were playing this at home, I'd have to be stopping at every one of these islands. <laughs> Wind Waker. Yep. Get well, my, eventually, get my crane out and get those treasure chests. I think eventually I, I will be start staring at all these or going to all these islands. But for right now, I'm just kind of beelining for where they're telling me to go. The western side of the island, right? Yep. It's not a big island though. Oh, is that just known? Uh, that is the first time I have seen that specifically mentioned. <laughs> okay. So, as I said... Hiding that from you? Yeah. Wait, she hasn't mentioned that Leonidas was her grandfather? Not directly that I can recall. Okay, it seems like that would be a kind of important... They, they've made allusions to you having special lineage, but that's kind of been it. Mm. All right, is there like a place I can like dock my boat Was around Achilles here? Is a real guy? Like, how are you supposed to know what's real and what's like legend? <gasps> uh, therein lies the question of life, man. Very confusing. <laughs> like, I know most of the stuff in God of War didn't happen, but like, I don't know. I didn't know 300 was real outside of the Giants. I'm just gonna see if I can park my boat around here. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. The commander's leaving but the continue to sing. Yeah. Yes. Keep well, working, I, guys. I love their shin guards. <laughs> so you can customize that, too. Clearly. I mean, you must have picked the, like, neon. You give them the conehead hat? <laughs> <laughs> you guys just hang out. <laughs> yeah, you guys. Yeah. Polish, get, polish my eagle. Don't get scurvy. It's not an official dock, but it'll do. So I don't know if we're going to go into the special temple. I think maybe we want people to kind of find that for themselves. Okay. Relax on the beach. You're going to walk up to the special temple? Yeah, uh -oh. let's just see what else. We'll, let's oh, see. I thought that was a cutscene. No, that was me. I just wanted to kind of see where we are. There's a giant Medusa head. There's a big gold question mark right there. I have Crystal a feeling skull. that's where it's going to be. There was also a giant Medusa head. There was. Uh, so that's one of the cultists. Oh. There is apparently also mythical creatures in this game. I have not seen them yet. Mm. Uh, I may have just missed that or something, but like I have not fought anything mythical yet. Just a lot of big dudes. And bears. And bears. And it's a uh, moderately sized cat. The occasional bobcat. There's a boar. And boar. All right, you want a piece of this? You want a fucking piece of this? The boar's kind of messing me up. <laughs> All right, you want a piece? No, they're poisoning the boar. Here, let's kick the spore. Okay. Jeez. Cock their heads together. Yeah, cool guy shit, as you always say. <laughs> yeah, like like Arnold in True Lies. Yeah. You got them both? Okay. All right, let's keep going to this. Yeah. All right, bird. Bzzz. Where am I going? In here somewhere, right? Is that the entrance or the thing? I think it's the entrance. So, yes. What do, you, what do you think so far? All right, you remember when we did the Origins quick look, and I, I was do. like not super da like cool with that game at that point. Mm -hmm. uh, you got cool with it. I did, and that's the thing. I I loved Origins in the end. Like it took a while to get going, but kind of once it just did, just drop, just drop, do it all the way, just drop all, all the way, way, all the way, go all to the, the center, way. hit the bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm great. I'm doing great. <laughs> Why would you even bother climbing? I don't know. Sorry, you were saying? Look how uh, quickly your health comes back, too. Yeah. So, I I kind of feel the same way now 
adore. as I did then when we did that quick look. I'm not completely sold on this game. Okay. It's more Origins. It's the pace of Origins. It's it's you know the the basic layout of Origins, and I like that. The story just hasn't been grabbing me as much, mm. and I I'm a li like a whole new slate of this so soon after I finished Origins yeah. might feel like a little bit too much for me. Hmm. Uh. That said, I don't think it's bad. I, I think it's maybe just like one layer less polished than Origins was, but in general, I feel like it's 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 a pretty good, effective game. It's doing the, most of the things you want this current iteration of these games to do. Okay. But, you know, I'm not as jazzed about it as I was with Origins, and I'm just not entirely sure quite yet how I feel about it overall. Well, at the time of this recording, which is a bit out, uh, you are, what, a, maybe... A couple, uh, ten hours in or so. Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen hours in. So yeah. we'll see. We'll ch uh, when this goes up. Yes. There's very possibly you will be done with this. Game. Yes. By that point, we will be able to talk uh, at greater <laughs> length about how I feel about it overall. Yeah. But for right now, I would say you know uh, keep uh, checking checking reviews and 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 quick looks and whatnot and uh, see how how people are, are feeling about it uh, in the end because. Right now, as of the time of this recording, I am not 100% convinced of this one. Okay. Well, thanks, right. Alex. Thank you, thanks. guys.